Hello everyone, Jeff the Greener Bee here. Buds contain undeveloped tissue that may produce new stems, leaves, flowers, or roots. The bud at the end of a stem is called the apical or terminal bud. Buds along the sides of a stem are called lateral or auxiliary buds. Lateral buds are formed at the base of a leaf where the leaf meets the stem. This location is called the node. The space between the nodes is called the internode. On the stem, along the internode, there may be corky raised bumps called lenticels that allow gas exchange in the stem. What's this mean to me? Internode length affects the size and shape of a plant. For instance, a vining zucchini plant with long internode spaces covers a lot of ground, while a bush zucchini with short internode space is much more compact. And then the same goes for many other dwarf trees and shrubs. Buds can be arranged on a opposite sides of a branch, like in this honeysuckle, or they may be alternating left, right, up and down, like on this red bud. And some plants have several leaves at a node in a world arrangement, like this Norfolk Island pine has world branches up here, and then it has lateral side branches that are alternate, and then the needles themselves are hard to tell because they're so close together to, to know whether they're opposite, alternate, or world. So you can have more than one type of bud arrangement on a single plant. Knowing the arrangement of buds and nodes will be a big help in plant identification, even without leaves, because the buds are still on those stems. The vascular tissue of a leaf will leave a scar on the stem when the leaf falls off. The shape of the leaf scar may also be useful in plant identification. Buds may be covered in protective scales. The terminal bud scales may leave scars on the stem when they fall off. The distance between the sets of terminal bud scars can show how long a stem grew in one year. What's this mean to me? If the distance between sets of terminal bud scars is getting shorter, the plant may be declining in health. For instance, this cottonwood branch has long space here, a medium space here, and a shorter space here. So we know that the branch is slowing down in growth. And that be maybe something we need to look at to see if the tree is declining in health if a lot of other branches have that same arrangement or if it's just maybe one branch and this one fell off on its own. So maybe this was just a weak branch that was under the shade of the rest of the tree and so it fell off on its own. Flower and leaf buds often have different shapes. This helps a person who wants to prune a plant know which branches will have flowers so they don't prune them off. On this viburnum branch we have a vegetative bud at the end with leaves, and then we have a flowering bud on this one, which is round and a whole different shape. So we can easily tell which one is which. Any pruning on this branch from fall until spring will cut off flowers. Buds may be a different color from the branch. This can be helpful in plant identification. These yellow buds identify this branch as a butternut hickory. And of course, red bud trees have red buds, even if they're not as pretty and showy as their purple flowers. And this is Jeff the Greener View.